it's your girl Cosmix Wonderland and if you can't already tell yes I'm in the car today is a road trip me and my husband are going out of town to Springs for some lunch we're going to Dickie's barbecue pit it is the best barbecue I have ever had you will think you died and went to heaven like I'm not kidding you and I'm gonna try and bring my camera and like record all the food that we get so you guys can see but this is gonna be like a food lunch vlog I know I don't normally do that but this place is that awesome barbecue lunch so let's go it's 11 11 and if you guys know our lucky special number don't ask why I don't know but we're really drawn to the number 11 so we're headed to lunch at 11 11 not planned but like I said we are talking about lunch and it's 11 11 that's our lucky number I don't know but it is there's that come and go wow that's a huge goodwill that's just a donation center your destination is on the right. Yay! We made it! We made it! There's about three of these in Springs, you guys. Let's go in. Let's go. So this is my husband's meal. He got some fried okra and beans. And you got original and sweet, right? Original and sweet barbecue. There's the pork Turkey. And your roll. Yum. And I got mac and cheese. And a roll. Onion tanglers. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so good. And I got pork ribs. So this is the original barbecue. This is the sweet. And this is the spicy. And I spilled when I put the spicy in. I spilled all along the side. So I already sampled that one because I licked up my mess. All right, let's dig in. So here's my husband's plate. He scraped it clean. I helped a little bit. Oh yeah, throwing in the napkin. And look at mine. Like, excuse me? What? I really tried. I really, really, really tried. I finished the mac. I made sure of that. But the rest, not so much. My stomach is screaming, stop, you can't hold no more food. Stop it. Now, I want you guys to know, this barbecue sauce, the spicy one, amazing. Absolutely amazing. It is spicy, but it's so good. I love spicy food. I preferred the spicy over the other two. And the lemonade I got was so good. I'm almost empty. I'm gonna fill it up again. <laughs> We're done with lunch, and uh, I would say my husband won. <laughs> Seatbelts for safety. And if my camera goes sliding, I'll grab it. I have cat like reflexes. We just finished eating at Dickie's, and oh my goodness, it was so good. My husband got the turkey, and honestly, it's the best turkey I ever had in my life. Sorry, Thanksgiving. Sorry to, like, what was that one? There was an amusement park I went to in Missouri a lot. That was in Branson. So you guys may know, may remember the name. It's been so long since I've been there. I was, like, 19 the last time I went so it's been like five years they had these giant turkey legs really expensive I feel like they were like 18 to 20 dollars a, a turkey leg and I, I I got one once and thought that that was the bomb diggity no Dickie's turkey is the bomb diggity so good if you guys haven't ate at Dickie's I would highly suggest it and if you saw my running clip of me going up to the restaurant that was inspired by JP and Julia. They are healthy junk foods. I'll leave their info somewhere on the screen so you can go and check them out. They do a lot of food videos like that where they go to different restaurants. So my little run, I don't run like that. That was inspired by JP because he does this really goofy walk. He gets super, super excited about food. and. I was really, really excited about barbecue because I don't eat barbecue a whole lot, but when I do, uh, it's like barbecue and seafood are my favorite. Go out, get, sit down, eat places. I like Italian and stuff, but I can cook Italian at home. 
I can't really do barbecue as well as other places or seafood like I can't do sushi so I really like going out to get sushi so yeah this was really fun I want you guys to know they have these giant cups and I don't know what the big deal is but it's something about these big giant yellow cups they're called big yellow cups and everywhere there's these signs in the restaurant that say join the yellow cup club and it's like why not and they're like well because Americans are crazy about their big yellow cups I think honestly we're just crazy about beverages we like sodas and stuff what I got is their lemonade their house lemonade and I mixed it with a little bit of sweet tea and a little bit of unsweet tea it's perfect I already drank a whole one I refilled this up because I had to take it with me the lemonade in it you know how there's like you can kind of tell the difference between lemonades whether it is fresh or like kind of more on the natural side as opposed to like the Minute Maid where it tastes very artificial. Their lemonade blew my mind. It's the best Arnold Palmer I've ever had. And I have done lemonade and tea at every single location ever. I should probably do a review on that, but this has been the best. I've done it at McDonald's, Steak and Shake, Sonic, you name it. I'm always like, can you make me an Arnold Palmer? This is the best one. And I like their spicy barbecue way better than the sweet and the original but that's because I have been on a spice kick for the last like week me and Jess went shopping I'll do a shopping haul where I show you guys what I bought later not in this one but I got spicy sauce there and that kind of started it I brought it home with me I had a jalapeno poppers last night so of course I went straight for the spicy that doesn't mean that the others are not good they're all amazing I just prefer a little kick to my barbecue at least right now I'm rambling that was really delicious the fried okra was awesome and you guys saw what looked kind of like very very small onion rings those are called onion tanglers and I really like those the reason that I like them is because unlike an onion ring where you get this kind of like I want to say slightly bland breading on the outside and then you get this like slimy like kind of almost uncooked untouched kind of onion on the inside the onion tanglers has a thinner a much thinner breading on the outside totally different batter from an onion ring not sure what the secret is to that but it is and the onions are sliced so thin that when you bite into one you get this like caramelized onion taste in your mouth that you just don't get from onion rings so if you have any restaurant around you and you see onion tanglers on their menu try them because you look at them and they're like oh onion rings they're totally different from onion rings they have a different taste they have a different texture I really really like them and overall lunch was freaking awesome so thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more food videos just let me know I'm a really good cook and I really like trying foods and eating out so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching stay fantabulous and as always me and my uh, my big yellow cup <laughs> will stay fantabulous for you guys Bye.